Probably you already know, but in case you didn't, gymnastics provides the best foundation for all sports. If you want me to tell you why in another video, let me know down in the comments. And yes, today we are doing gymnastics. I don't know about you, but I am quite excited. And I have already uploaded a video showing you a workout for the seniors. So now it's turn to show you a video oriented towards the youngs. Actually, it may be oriented towards everyone who wants to learn a bit of gymnastics. <laughs> And as always, I'm gonna advise you to do a warm-up and a stretch before you're about to perform any physical activities, whether that is a normal workout, gymnastics activities, make sure you have warmed up and prepared the muscles for that activity. I'm gonna do a very quick warm-up and a dynamic stretch. It's gonna take me about five minutes. If you wanna do your own, that is totally up to you. Or if you wanna copy me, again, it's up to you. Let's get started. We're gonna do a five-minute Warm up and a stretch is going to be based on 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off. Ready? And three, two, one. Okay, and we're gonna get 15 seconds rest. The next exercise that we're gonna do is hand to foot twists. So we've got three more seconds. Okay, have a rest. Let's do some arm circles during the rest. That's it. The next exercise is burpees. So we're gonna go to front support and then jump up. Okay, we're gonna get a rest. Let's now do some circles from the hips. Okay, and the next exercise is gonna be lunge knee kick. So we're gonna come here, do lunge, knee kick, lunge, knee kick, lunge. Try and lunge nice and low so you can stretch the back of your front leg.
Okay, and the rest, let's roll the wrists, roll them the other way. Okay, the next one that we're gonna do is called mountain climber. So we're gonna go on our front support. Okay, and the shape that we're gonna start from is a crab shape. To do a crab shape, you need to start from sitting down, legs together, knees together, hands are gonna be flat on the floor with fingers pointed down towards the toes, slightly behind the bottoms, and you're gonna drive your hips up until you get a nice straight line starting from the knees to the shoulders. So you need to be keeping the hips up and holding it there. So that skill requires also not only strength but flexibility in the shoulders, keeping the arms straight. Okay, we're gonna sit down. And now we are going to do a back support. For the back support, again, hands are going to be flat, legs together, and we're gonna push up so we can lift the hips up and you're going to hold a back support. Shoulders are going to be above the hands, fingers pointed towards the toes, nice straight line starting from the toes all the way up to the shoulders, head in a neutral position. All right, and after the back support, we're going to turn around and we're going to do a front support. Hands are going to be flat, fingers pointed forwards, shoulders above the wrists, and we're gonna try and get a nice straight body, legs together, core nice and tight, head in a neutral position. We're gonna hold it there. That's it. And now we're gonna go down on the floor. So we're gonna put our tummies on the floor. So we're gonna lay down, squeeze the legs together, arms up by the ears and reaching up. We're gonna try and hold it there, making sure the arms are straight, legs are squeezed together, nice and straight, head in a neutral position and holding it there. Okay, after the arch that we did now, we're gonna go into a dish. So the dish shape, we need to balance it onto our lower backs. Again, point the toes, legs together, arms up, covering the ears, head, in a neutral position looking at the toes. Making sure there is no gap underneath the lower backs, squeezing the core. And from here, we're gonna tuck in and we're gonna rock backwards, forwards to stand up, arms up, backwards. We're gonna swing the arms to help to gain momentum and we're gonna go up. And now we're gonna try and transition from one into another gymnastic shape or support and hold each one of them for 30 seconds. So that is gonna be a bit like of a workout. Let's see how many of you are gonna be able to do it. I have my timer ready. And the first one that we're gonna do is a crab shape. Three, two, one. And let's try and hold it nice and high. Hold it, fingers pointed towards your feet, hold it there, that's it, only 15 more seconds, hips up, legs together. After this one, we're gonna go into back support, five more seconds, three, two, one, and let's go into back support, hold it there. I can promise you're gonna really feel your 
arms and shoulders after that quick workout. Okay. It's more of an isometric work, but it still gets you tired. Okay, now we're gonna go into front support. So we're gonna get one arm up and you're gonna go into front support and hold it there. Holding up front support now. The next one that we're gonna do is a arch. So we're gonna do an arch now. Holding it there, making sure the arms are nice and straight, legs are squeezed together, toes pointed. And now we're gonna go into dish without letting our heels or arms touching the floor, just rotating towards a dish shape. Lower back on the floor. If you wanna make it more difficult, you can lift your arms up by the ears. Okay, and now we're gonna rock backwards, forwards, and stand up. Okay, and that was an example of a very quick workout and how you can use the different uh, gymnastics shapes and supports and transition from one into another. I hope you enjoyed today's gymnastics video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.